One of the great letters in our collection is this letter, George Washington to Edward Carrington. George Washington particularly used him as a political ally. And the moment is 1786, and the controversy is over the Jay Treaty, the so-called Jay Treaty, which is a treaty the United States makes with Great Britain, their old enemy. The stakes had gotten very high. The British were in the midst of the fight of their life in the French Revolutionary War. They were attacking American vessels at sea, and the Americans were trying to negotiate treaties to resolve a lot of things related to, you know, uh, uh, aspects of the Treaty of Peace that hadn't been um, settled. And George Washington knew that he needed a treaty of some kind with the British, otherwise it would likely be war. Now, the treaty itself is very unpopular when news of it comes out in the United States. It's unpopular because it's really a great treaty for the British. They got everything they asked for, most favored trading status with the Americans, and the Americans got very little. But from George Washington's point of view, it's either this or nothing. It's either this treaty with the British or they go to war. And for him, the stakes really uh, were too high. If they went to war, there was no telling what would happen. The country was divided and polarized and they couldn't pay and handle for a war. So, uh, he's very eager to make sure that this treaty not only is ratified, uh, but that it is supported. Uh, and there's a lot of noise in the halls of Congress arguing that, well, the House of Representatives would, would kill the treaty by not funding it, by trying to have some way to stop the treaty from going into execution. And George Washington wrote this letter to Edward Carrington to explain to him uh, what his opinion of that move was. Well, if the framers wanted to give that power to the House, uh, why didn't they? It would have been absurd and foolish of them to not, meant, to not put the House of Representatives into uh, the constitutional fight over treaty making. Uh, and then on the other hand, he goes on to say, I want you to tell everybody in Virginia and to the southward that this is my opinion. My opinion as George Washington, President of the United States. As he, he famously writes in the letter, uh, the present is one of those great occasions uh, none more important has occurred, and probably may occur, to call forth the decision of the people, and to them the appeal is now made. He's making an appeal to the people, as commander-in-chief, as the first president, recognizing that their voice has influence in this crazy system of government we call American democracy.